bigger apartment here in town, so we've been moving, you know, all our shit to the new apartment, getting everything set up. Um, I got a, uh, a new big desk for uh, my office, all my coach office, got a new entertainment center, um, all kinds of stuff. So just setting all that stuff up, building, felt real handy, you know, putting everything together. Um, we're, we're finally almost getting to the land. We've got a little bit stuff to uh, bring over, but it's got all the necessities over there, so um, just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on with me. This morning, I weighed in at 173.8. Um, I'm feeling a lot leaner. Abs are uh, coming out really fast. Um, right now, I'm at uh, three sessions of cardio a week.
here, so I'm gonna head inside. That sick R8. Gym, 24 hour fitness sport, Temecula. Where are these motherfuckers? There they are. There's the Dillist. Also, here's Ryan. We've been trying to come up with a nickname for him. So we came up with, uh, you guys seen Wreck It Ralph, right? The cartoon. Kids movie. We came out. We come up, came up with uh, Wreck It Ryan. So he's kind of hesitant to put it up there until <laughs> he's starting to wreck shit. But he's wrecking shit whenever he's in here with us. He has a different schedule. Was uh, work. Works some odd hours at uh, the casino. So it's hard to get sessions in together. But when he's in here, he's gonna be fucking Wreck It Ryan, right? Wreck It Ryan, baby. Wreck It Ryan, right? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna check in. Dill, what are you doing in the corner over there? Show them what you're doing. He right, has a tennis ball. Doing some release on his uh, shoulders. Ryan warming up his shoulder. That little medicine ball. So this is our uh, warm-up set on the uh, overhead press. Still has the uh, the quarters on there. No leg drive. So we do this movement now with no leg drive. It's all all shoulders. And then we got Wreck It Ryan here. Also with the quarters on there, warming it up. No leg drive. If you guys notice that uh, we all use the uh, the wrist the wrist wraps. Um, I'm a high believer of you know protecting the wrist. With this kind of movement, you get a lot of weight on the hands, and it transfers to the wrists. I mean, I use them because I have injured my wrist and it relieves a lot of pain but also if you don't have any injuries in your wrist it's really good at um, helping prevent injury it takes all that it helps take that uh, weight off the 
The wrist. Here I got 135 on there. Oh, I do. weren't really counting. I was doing like I think five, five to eight. We warmed up for the ER, our working sets. Alright, so we threw on the 35s for Dill, 115 on there, and we were doing triples here. So three reps, and it was a. I had it so. It was about a uh, RP skill, a nine, so one rep, one left in the tank. It's close into the meat. Um, I'm not really trying to train too close to failure, so I'm saving, saving myself, um, so I recover faster, recover easier, and also stay away from injury. But, but you'll see later on on the double press, I go pretty, pretty hard, and I shouldn't have went that. I shouldn't have gone that heavy and really grinded it out. Okay, 155 on there. I've been getting a lot of you guys on Instagram and YouTube asking me about the my new belt. Um, I like it a lot, uh, especially because it's uh, the the online coach hot pink. But it's a medium. I went from a large to a medium. The, the one that I had before was a black uh, large, and it was it was too big. Like I said in my my previous videos, it had too much slack. My waist is way smaller than um, I thought it was going to be, so it had a lot of slack, and it, it had a uh, it bothered me when it was all the way tight and I had like one hole left. So. Alright, so now we're uh, onto our working sets. Ryan has a 135 on there. He's going for uh, a triple. Right, my turn, 185. Felt really good on this. I uh, hit three. With ease, I was probably more of an eight than a nine. Had a little bit more in the tank, but train is smart. I stopped. And now we move on to uh, dumbbell press. And with this, you guys ask, you know, why I don't go any lower than you know, right, right about, right around ninety degrees. And below 90 degrees. Um, with this, you, it's not like the overhead press. You don't really have that much uh, range of motion. You don't need to go pat beyond 90 degrees to get the uh, the full benefit. Um, I go a little bit below 90, and I feel enough and uh, save myself from being that that injury injury zone or injury prone zone. So I wouldn't go. Anything less than 90, though, you'll just be cheating yourself and not getting the most benefit of the movement. So here I got 105s. I'm just, they're starting to feel a little heavy, especially because this morning I was, you know, 170, but 173.8. Um, I'm about about 20 pounds lighter, um, and some of my other, or 20 pounds heavier in my other shoulder videos on the channel. So I was really happy with this. Still able to rep out the 105s, and later on you'll see me touch the 120s. I really just wanted to test myself and see if I could still get them up for at least one rep. Good. With the weight that I'm at right now, because 173 is pretty light right now, but uh, it puts me in a good position for the powerlifting meet because I had my major lifts. I'm still pretty good. And I'm a lot lighter. Oh, All right, so here I think I'm gonna grab one fifteens. I was originally going for I think three, three reps, triple, but then I I, I can only get two. I didn't have one left of the tank, so I stopped it. Stopped the two reps. Yeah, 
that second one was hard. I didn't have anything left. So. What up, guys? We're like a week into the meet. Until the meet? Nine days. Nine days. Nine days. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gaining so much strength since we've been training. Alright, so what's your, uh, wait, what did, what did you weigh this morning? About 142, 143. Alright, so you're probably going to come in about 142. We're not messing with his weight. He's not dieting at all. He's still eating as much as he can, so he's just going to go in there and rise weight. I mean, the morning of the weigh-ins, we're probably going to go empty, no water, post taking the shit, and then uh, weigh in, and then we're going to carb up like crazy after. So, what's your, uh, your meat goal, your total goal for the meat, for your first meat? First meet, I want to get 800. 800? It's pretty good. 143, he's going to be in juniors, 18, 19. Um, so, 800 will be a good uh, good total for his first meet. Alright, so here I grabbed the 120s. I really wanted to just test myself, being at the weight that I am, um, seeing if I can get it up once. And I uh, really grinded it out. I regret doing it. Um, kind of felt a little tension on my neck and uh, my trap, so I got it up. So I'm real happy with that. 173. Um, I've never been that strong. Been that strong, strong enough to even put those up at the weight that I'm at. So it shows that the the style of training that I've been doing. For the powerlifting meat has really helped in conjunction with uh, the dieting that I've been doing, slow slow dieting with some cardio to, to bring down my body fat and weight. All right, here we did uh, some side laterals. It's a, a variation of side laterals that's using you know the long the barbell. Um, I get a lot of people ask me why I do this, not a normal dumbbell. Um, I just like. The feel of the movement with this with the barbell um, I feel like it it makes it a little bit more difficult adds a little bit core in there and uh, I don't know I just get a, a better a better movement out of it um, being able to squeeze at the top doing it one-handed one hand at a time versus using a dumbbell so one of my favorite delt movements to use and uh, this is really good for the the, the medial head of the, the deltoid, the shoulder. Remember guys, there's three heads, the anterior, medial, and the posterior. So, you gotta hit all heads uh, to get that real balanced, complete shoulder. This, uh, this is really good at, you know, adding uh, the appearance of the, your shoulder cap, having caps on the, the shoulder. Look at the shot. Let me know how you like it. I can see that I'm definitely tightening up as I drop weight. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment below and let me know if you can see the difference in uh, my, uh, my physique being lighter. I feel like I'm getting smaller, but it might be just in my head, so. Comment below and let me know your input on how I'm looking at 173.8 versus my older videos, you know, being in the, the high one night or the low 190s. All right, so we moved on to barbell front raise. Um, this is getting more, or it's targeting the anterior deltoid, so your front deltoid, front the front head. And I also I also believe that it gets a little bit of the medial having your uh, your hands uh, your palm facing down versus you you know using like a dumbbell or a rope. Want to apologize again for the uh, the first clip of me in the car um, talking to you guys. I, I stuck it on my little uh, my iPhone mount on my, my dashboard, and I didn't I didn't notice that it was covering the mic. So yeah, I was really bummed that it was muffled. So sorry about that. Just you know, hopefully you guys turn it up and you're able to hear me. 
All right, so now we moved on to uh, the peck deck, rear, rear peck deck fly, and this is for the posterior deltoid, the back head. With this, you don't have to go too heavy. Um, you just want to really stimulate the, the posterior shoulder. I think I still, I think we're still keeping about eight, eight to ten reps on it. You guys are wondering why the hell I'm wearing my belt, you know, with all the movements when it's not necessary. Um, I'm really just trying to break it in fully. It's still pretty new, so it's still kind of hard. It's still bothering my hips and my sides, so I, I just want to really break it in to get a contour to my, my body. And it doesn't hurt, you know. It doesn't hurt the, the extra protection is, you know, from, from injury. It feels really good having it on. All right, so moved on to traps. I want to just get the barbell. Front, front shrugs. I got 315 on there, three plates, and we also use the chalk on this. I don't, we, we don't know, we don't ever use uh, straps anymore. Um, I think the optimal way to work on your grip and your, you know your hand strength is just using chalk, no straps. And then here's our final movement. We did dumbbell shrugs. This is a really hard movement for me. My, my wrist is still bothering me. It's not as bad as before, but uh, this really puts my wrist in a weird position where uh, I got to really focus on holding that the dumbbell. My, my, my left hand just kind of gives out after a while, and I really I can go for more reps, but my my wrist is just going out. All right, guys. We're here at our favorite spot, Flame Broiler, for our post-workout meal. We got Ryan, Wreck It Ryan, Dill the Dillist. <laughs> All right, what'd you guys get? Chicken plate, white rice, and green onions. Like always. And the Angus beef plate, white rice. I got the same as dill. This is what I always get. It's uh, the chicken plate, white rice, no veggies, green onion. And if you guys care, the macros on this, um, 850 calories, total fat, seven grams, 89 grams of carbs, 59 grams of protein. And then I do, I always do one of these magic sauce containers. It is uh, 16 grams of carbs, 60 calories. So, this is it. We're here probably three or four times a week. We live right across the street, so this is our spot. That's about it. Alright. Peace.